Hey guys, today we're at Assateague Island National Seashore. Check it out. Hey guys, Mike from RV Blogger here today in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if this is your first time joining us on YouTube, welcome to our channel. We have a YouTube channel and a website all about how to RV. So hopefully you can shift control in your life and escape to full-time RV living. Today we're at Assateague National Seashore, which is located in Southern Maryland and Virginia, right on the Atlantic Ocean, between the Atlantic Ocean and the Chincoteague Bay. And uh, there are actually three parts to Assateague Island. It's a 39 mile island that runs from just below Ocean City, Maryland, all the way down to Chincoteague, Virginia. The Maryland side of the island takes up about half of that length, so it's about 15 miles. And on the Maryland side of the island, there are two different places where you can camp. One of them is Assateague State Park and the other is the Assateague National Seashore. And the two areas are often confused because they're right next to each other and a lot of times people don't know which is which. But we visited both today, so you'll get to see them both uh, throughout the video. And then the third part of the island is the National Seashore on the Virginia side where there is no camping allowed. But that's the part of the island where the wild ponies live and every year the wild ponies do the swim from Assateague Island across the Chincoteague Bay over to Chincoteague Island uh, and therefore they're called the Chincoteague Ponies. So uh, let's get started with our video and check out all about camping on Assateague National Seashore. Sites, there are two loops that have electricity and that's about it so maybe 75 sites have electricity available everybody else can use a dump station there is also fresh water available and every loop has a really nice big bathhouse uh, with hot showers available as well so as you can see your campsite comes with a picnic table a fire ring uh, beach access right there. So, uh, Astique State Park, really nice beach camping. So, tons of people come to the state park every summer to hit the beach, and this is a great place to park and do that. They've got public bathhouses here, and also the Pony Express Grill, where you can grab a sandwich or a sub or a cheeseburger or really whatever you want. They have a little gift shop too. You can buy suntan lotion and stuff like that in there. So it's a very, very convenient place and uh, nicely set up here at Assateague State Park. So here we are at Assateague National Seashore where thousands of people come every summer to go swimming and hit the beaches here. Uh, we're just south of Ocean City, Maryland, and on Assateague National Seashore, they have got a big area for people to come swim in the summertime. There are picnic tables, pavilions, concession stands. You can rent umbrellas, beach chairs, everything you need to enjoy a day at the beach. And then in addition to that, they also have camping right on the beach, and they have camping available on the bay side as well. And we'll take you on a little tour of all of those locations here on the seashore as well. On the National Seashore, there are three different campgrounds, if you will. There are two loops that are right on the ocean front. Uh, one of them is really a sandy loop, and uh, you can camp there in your camper, or you can tent camp. The second loop along the ocean front has much more vegetation and in our opinion bigger sand dunes to sort of block you from the wind, but it's pretty easy to get over the dunes right onto the beach as well. 
And then there's this huge area on the bay side where you're surrounded by the Chincoteague Bay. You can see it behind me here. And uh, they have plenty of campsites on the bay side as well. None of the sites on the entire National Seashore area have any hookups at all. So you do need to be prepared to be self-contained. You can run a generator, uh, just not between 10 at night and six in the morning. And uh, the areas all have a dump station and fresh water available. So all in all, pretty decent. Most of the sites are pretty good size. Um, and a lot of them just have really spectacular views. So um, all the campsites here are really pretty good, whether you're on the ocean front or the bay side. At the end of the video, please leave us a thumbs up. It lets us know how we're doing and you might even catch some fun bloopers too. There are three hiking trails here at Assateague National Seashore. One of them is the Life of the Dunes Nature Trail, where you can walk out through the dunes between the Chincoteague Bay and the Atlantic Ocean and get a feel for all of the life that lives in the dunes here. And there are two other trails as well. One goes through a pine forest and the other goes through a really marshy area. Uh, but all three trails are very flat, very easy to walk on, and they're all very short as well. This is what's called the Old Ferry Landing here in Assateague National Seashore. This is the part of the park where you can rent canoes, bicycles, kayaks. They have a little boat ramp and you can take off out into the Chincoteague Bay, go fishing, clamming, crabbing, or you can also kayak from here south where you're able to backcountry camp out on Assateague Island, but you have to bring all your supplies with you. So rather than hike it in by foot, a lot of people choose to uh, launch off here in their canoes and kayaks, paddle on down, and then camp out on the island south of here. So we're at the very end of the paved road part of Assateague National Seashore, but from this point south for another 12 miles or so, you can actually drive your four-wheel drive vehicle on the beach, which is what these guys are doing. And um, a lot of guys go surf fishing down there. That's one of my favorite activities anyway. And um, you can catch bluefish, stripers, flounder, whatever's out in the ocean, really. Um, so it's a really cool feature. Now, the island itself is 39 miles long. The Maryland line is about 12 miles from here, and you can only drive on the beach to the Maryland line. Once you get to Virginia, the fish and wildlife takes over, and you can't ride on the beach anymore. But it's a great place to come, drive on the beach, and go surf fishing for the day. Another really nice little feature here at Assateague is when you come off the beach, they have air pumps here for you to be able to put air back in your tires. If you don't know, if you're ever going to drive a four-wheel drive vehicle on the beach, you have to let the air out of your tires first, even though it's four-wheel drive. Most of the time when I go surf fishing, I'll lower the uh, tire pressure in my tires all the way down to about 15 to 18 pounds. Uh, that allows the tire to get flatter and wider so you get better traction on the beach, you won't get stuck that way. Then when you come off the beach, boom, here you go. You got your uh, air gauge right here. You can go ahead and pump your tires back up. Nice little feature for us. see some other of our videos just click one of the boxes here and also please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell when you do. You can also check us out on rvblogger.com for tons of great articles about RVing. So for Mike and Susan, see you next time.